Hi, Casey Durango of Go Pita with Casey here. A few more shots of the food we like to eat around this house. May find some repetition, but we like it simple. Okay, so I, I posted this photograph actually on Instagram with the text that you know you're full on keto when a shopping haul from Costco consists of a rotisserie chicken, two chunks of cheese, and some heavy cream. This happened to be, uh, I went shopping when my lovely mate was out of town for an extended period, and, and really kind of I just ate off the chicken, you know, for several days, and I'd have some cheese, and I'd have my coffee in the morning, and I was perfectly satisfied uh, with that, and it was good quality cheese. Now, I will tell you on a rotisserie chicken, they're very convenient. Just make sure if you get one that it's not chock full of sugary stuff. Like Costco, they're pretty good and I have never had any issues with the way they are prepared. Now, other days I ate very large meals, tended to be, and this was when I was by myself, um, tend to be late in the morning or early afternoon and there's a whole lot of meat involved. If you can look there, that is one, two, three, four slices of thick bacon. And look in the back there, what is that? But a bratwurst. And I believe that was probably three eggs scrambled with shredded cheese in it. So that was a good, hearty, filling meal. And I am often will eat kind of a meal a day, uh, sometimes with you know some cheese later on. And of course my coffee in the morning and I do find it satisfying it might be too simple simple for some folks um, and frankly the idea of all that might meat might scare some people but I, I like it and I like the bratwurst you know you can shape things up for your meals if um, if you're not really into eggs and bacon for breakfast you can have them for dinner of course um, and this is a meal also of eggs and bacon, but my husband prepared them. One of uh, one of the videos I've posted previously is um, my a video of my husband making his huevos bonalinos, which is eggs with scallions and tomatoes diced up, and they turn out deliciously. And most uh, weekend mornings, he'll prepare that um, for me, and I really enjoy it. And there is some white farmer's cheese that you can see, queso fresco. And I do have, I've been called out on saying, oh, you've got supplements there. You say no supplements needed. That is a vitamin pill and three magnesium, slow-release magnesium uh, tablets. You want to make sure your magnesium stays up, and I need to supplement mine. On this diet, you can lose a lot of water, which takes along sodium with it, which takes along magnesium and potassium, and you want to keep your electrolytes up. So there's a hearty breakfast for the hands, loving hands of my husband. Of course, we eat more than eggs and bacon in our house. This was a plate of, for lunch my husband made. That was actually some leftover um, casserole. I, I'll link a, I'll post a link to the video of, of that casserole, which is just ground beef and some seasonings and some cheese and, you know, I cook it all and pop it in the casserole. This was leftover casserole, so I made him a salad. And you can see it's a pretty big salad. Well, it's on a salad plate. It looks larger than it is. And that is some sour cream and avocado with. So, you know, think outside the box when you're cooking and when you're throwing together meals. This little meal is one of the quickest you can make. And I make this for lunch or dinner for my husband. That is an Italian sausage. I think Premio is the brand from Costco. I cut one sausage into five chunks throw it in the skillet. While I'm doing that, I get a zucchini and use my Paderno spiralizer. I don't think I've made a movie, a video about the spiralizer. It's so handy. And my husband actually prefers zucchini noodles to pasta. And it's, it, it remains al dente. So anyway, so I'll maybe cut a, a zucchini in half, spiralize it, which takes, you know, 10 seconds. Then I'll have some rows um, marinata sauce or pasta sauce, that's a brand, R-A-O apostrophe S, which is the one I have found that is really 
as close to no carbs as you're going to get. It's just really fresh and good tasting. You can get it at Harris Teeter. Um, they had it on sale at the Fresh Market. So I stocked up. Anyway, so throw a little bit in there. Throw the spiralized noodles in when the sausages are cooked in the meat sauce. And some shredded Parmesan cheese, some grated Parmesan cheese on top of it. I mean, easy peasy. Just really simple and satisfying. It's good for a cold night. It's good for a you know, when you just feel like you want something a little bit different. And I'm going to tell you, if I prepare a meal that takes more than about six minutes from start to finish, I'm overthinking it. I, you know, say it with me, Casey's a lazy cook. So my mantra is just single ingredient ingredients like, you know, zucchini and egg and meat and bacon and just in a cast iron skillet there's almost no way to go wrong this was just I had leftover hamburger I had left or ground beef leftover zucchini a yellow squash excuse me in this case sauteed it in a small skillet it's not a large skillet it's a really small cast iron skillet I think I made this for my husband's lunch one day he comes home for lunch most days and when it was all warmed through and I threw a handful of shredded mozzarella and shredded cheddar cheese on top and popped it under the broiler until it got all bubbly. Um, so simple. Now this is so pretty, I think. I might have shown this before. I think I've made this before and shared it. That's canned salmon. I A can with some homemade mayonnaise, but it doesn't have to be homemade. I diced up some homemade pickles. Again, don't have to be homemade. And some seasonings and put that on top of a lettuce with some avocado and I had a half a orange bell pepper left over. And it's just so pretty, you know, so simple. Um, my husband eats more vegetables than I do. I would never eat a salad that large. Um, it's just, I need fewer vegetables than he does. But believe me when I say this way of eating and cooking can be so direct and simple. Try thinking outside of the box for yourself. Make up some ideas and, um, and have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Check in again later for some more videos. Bye, y'all.